Welcome to Mac Helpers. Going back into numbers here, this is where I'm going to show you how to undo your mistakes. I kind of briefly touched on this in the prior videos, uh, but if you're just watching this uh, for the first time, this is a great way to kind of adjust what you've done. And so let's say I let's go back and let's just kind of do some crazy stuff here. Copy, let's paste it. Oops, I want to do this. Let's say I want to do all this stuff. Copy, paste it. Copy. Oops, paste it. So do, just doing a bunch of crazy stuff here. Or let's say your kid got into it and started messing around with it and started doing a ton of crazy stuff and you're like, whoa, whoa, what happened? Now this just looks like a bunch of nonsense. So there's a couple different ways to do it. The easiest way and what I mostly use is the undo button. You can just start clicking undo. And so that's gonna bring you back to where I kind of started. But let's say you wanted to, let's say you are like, oh dang it, I wanted to redo that. I actually liked how that do. So you can click redo, 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 redo. And it's gonna allow you to redo all those things that you just did. Same thing goes back again. Or you can't really see it because the way this program I'm recording this works, but you can actually shake the device itself and it pops up this window. And this is actually kind of a, a whole iPhone, iPad, iOS thing in general. And then you could click undo. Shake it again, redo. So that's pretty much it for the undoing and redoing your uh, any mistakes that you may make. Um, and it's just a really easy way to do to kind of go back and see what you were doing last time and kind of get back on the same page if it's been a while since you last looked at something. So if you can click keep it undo, it's going to go way back to, it goes back fairly far. And the only, the only time it will stop going back is if you go into, let's say, uh, you opened up a new spreadsheet, then it's going to pretty much keep doing that from that spreadsheet. Or if you close down the app altogether, then it won't go keep allowing you to go back as much as you did. It's going to go back from the last time you opened that specific document. So if you have any questions, definitely email us, info at yourmachelpers.com, or go to our website, yourmachelpers.com, and click the help link across the top, and we'll be able to answer any questions you may have. Thanks.